Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Garson, and welcome to my tiny kitchen, big enough to accommodate the whole world. I understand you want to know how to make a chicken tofu salad, and you are in luck, because we're going to Vietnam, where they do make a fabulous salad, sometimes called a cabbage salad, and they make it with chicken. Or if they're vegetarian, they will make it with tofu. And we are going to make it with both chicken and tofu. So we're on our way to Vietnam without a passport. We start with the dressing, which you should make first, so it sits about a half an hour and gets really tasty. And I started it off <coughs> by slicing one onion into thin rings and mincing three cloves of garlic and chopping up one good-sized chili pepper. Two small or one good-sized chili pepper. That's all that's in here right now. The next step <clears throat> is to add the key ingredient here because this is from Vietnam, which is fish sauce. It has an odd souring flavor, but it's going to be terrific and we want three tablespoons. It's called Nam Pla. You can buy it in any Chinese grocery, and I bet you can buy it in your supermarket where they sell the Asian food. It's that popular. So there's our three tablespoons of Nam Pla, also known as fish sauce. It comes from Vietnam and also Thailand. We are going to put in three tablespoons of corn oil. You can also put in canola oil if you have it, just not olive oil. Two, three. And now, <clears throat> to add more of the distinct Southeast Asian flavor, we put in the juice, <clears throat> about three tablespoons of lime juice. It's going to be the juice of an entire lime, okay? And finally, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, I get it. I'm using apple cider vinegar. It'll make it just a little bit sweeter, but you want one tablespoon of vinegar. And you want to blend everything together. <clears throat> okay, so we've made our dressing and now we're going for the salad itself. First thing I have done is to peel and grate up a carrot. A good sized carrot is very helpful in this case. Secondly, <clears throat> I have poached a chicken breast, boneless to get more meat. If you don't know how to poach, you put it in a small saucepan that has a lid. You cover it with just enough liquid to cover it. In this case, I had some vegetable broth lying around and I covered it. You bring it to a boil, let it boil for a few minutes, turn it off and let it sit about 20, 25 minutes. Then you check inside that there's no red coming out and you know it's cooked, and that's that. And so we're going to try and shred this. Let's just shred the chicken. And now we have the carrots and the chicken. And the third key ingredient in here is going to be our cabbage. <clears throat> it requires a Napa cabbage, also called Chinese cabbage or Savoy cabbage. You don't want the round European cabbage. You want to try and find this one. If you can't, use a round white cabbage. This is the Napa Chinese or Savoy cabbage. And we're going to chop up a couple of cups of this cabbage. Chopped, cleaned, all ready to go. <clears throat> And it's, cabbage is the base of the salad, so there's going to be, yes, more of it than there is the uh, carrot and chicken. Okay, so now we're going to do the um, tofu. And I've chosen to do um, what they call in China or Vietnam, dofu gan, which means fried tofu. <clears throat> I found it in Chinatown. If you can't find it, you can use extra firm tofu and you can sort of fry it a little to give it some crunch and you'll come up with the same thing. And uh, so here we are with the squares. And you can often crumble this like feta cheese. It's all how many people you want to feed and what your favorite ingredient is. Two chicken breasts and, and two pieces of tofu, 
four cups of cabbage. That should definitely feed six people. The magic touch for our salad <clears throat> is Chinese parsley cilantro, which I have chopped up here. And I've also done a wonderful Vietnamese trick, is I've chopped up some mint leaves. We have put hot chilies in the dressing and they're going to calm your stomach down with these beautiful cooling mint leaves, which I have chopped here. Now here you are. And we could certainly chop up more cilantro and more mint leaves if you think you like <coughs> more minty flavor. Go for it. So we're ready with the dressing that we set up before that has the nice onion rings going against the shreds of everything else. And here we go. I have to say, this is one of the most popular dishes I've ever made. I got asked to cater many times just delivering it to people's houses. It's a wonderful, refreshing summer salad, chicken and tofu, Vietnam style. Get yourself a glass of iced tea, sit out on the veranda, and enjoy.